You spent lakhs of your rupees on buying one of the best speakers, best subwoofer, best amplifiers and best processor. But in spite of doing everything right, you are still not getting the perfect desirable experience that you really look forward to. Now, this is a case which happens with most of the people. And the problems are in two areas. One is the positioning of the speakers and the second is the calibration of the system. Now, while for the position, we have always discussed upon the 2D design services that we have. But when it comes to calibration, there is one tool that I always rely on. And that is the Dirac calibration. Now, Dirac is a very, very advanced calibration tool. You need advanced equipments. And in the recent past, they have introduced a new version in Dirac, which is called the Dirac Live Art. And in my today's video, I'm going to help you understand how Dirac can actually start solving your room problems and can give you a fantastic experience. But before that, this video is sponsored to you by TapAV. Confused what to buy? Struggling with what really works in your room? or just tired of guesswork and online gimmicks? Well, at TapAV, we design, build and calibrate home cinemas and hi-fi systems crafted for your space, lifestyle and budget. Don't just take our word for it. Hear it from hundreds of happy clients. From expert guidance to flawless installation and a service that never leaves you hanging. TapAV is with you, always. So next time you need anything in Navy, simply tap in. Now, before we start with the Dirac tools, let us first understand who needs Dirac and where can you find Dirac. Now, first of all, to understand whether who needs Dirac, basically any person who is having a home theater with an amplifier compatible for Dirac calibration can do Dirac. So even if the system is in the living room, media room, bedroom or a dedicated cinema room, you need a Dirac calibration. Now, this is a common misconception that I have seen in people. They feel that I've got a home theater only in my living room. Do I really need to spend lakhs of rupees on the Dirac calibration? Can't I just settle in with the normal one? Well, you know what? If it's a living room, it specially requires Dirac calibration because the room acoustics is not going to be in symmetry. It is not going to be accurate to get the best output. So the Dirac has actually worked better in living room conditions than in a dedicated cinema room. Because in dedicated cinema rooms, you can predict the sound nature. But in open rooms, you cannot. So now that we have understood where does the direct calibration happen and for which devices, let us now understand the three tools that Dirac has to offer. The first one is the Dirac Live Room Correction. The second one is the Dirac Base Control. And the third one is the Dirac Live Art, which is the latest and the newest tool that they have given to give you the best output. But to reach to Dirac Live Art, you still have to perform the first two calibration tools. The first one is the Dirac Live Room Correction. Now, in a Dirac Live Room Correction software, it helps you correct individual performance of the speaker. For instance, if you've got a 5.1.2 system and your amplifier is Dirac compatible, when you start performing the Dirac Live Room Correction, you can individually control the output of each speaker. You can correct the frequency as well as the phase and time alignment. Now, this gives you a fantastic control over how the speaker wants to be performed. For instance, if you feel that the trebles are way too sharper, you can reduce the frequencies in the frequency range between 2 kHz to 20 kHz. If you want the vocals to dominate a little bit, you can start working on the frequencies between 200 to 2 kHz. Similarly, if you feel that the bass is low, you can work on any frequencies under 200 Hz. So this is an advantage that Dirac Live Room Correction offers where you can control the frequency. Now, apart from frequency, the time alignment is very, very important. You do not want any lag or any latencies from any of the speakers. So all the speakers need to sound together. And that will happen when you start correcting each of the speakers using the Dirac Live Room Correction. So some of the common fixes that the Dirac Live Room Correction will offer is great clarity in sound. You will have a more better curve of the speakers that you can adjust and command based upon the room and the speaker that you have. And lastly, you will have a perfect time response of all the speakers. But in this, Dirac saw that there were some problems. It was not giving a perfect base management. And that is where they also started with the second tool of base control. Now, a Dirac Live base control helps you analyze the subwoofers in your system. Especially if you have got two or more subwoofers, you need to do the Dirac base control. 
Once you have that done, you can start controlling the subwoofers and can take care of these low frequencies, which are very important because otherwise your home theaters are just going to sound flat. So that's why managing the bass using the bass control tool of Dirac is very crucial to know how you get your thumping bass for the home theater experience. Now, while you do all of these two things separately in these two tools, what Dirac Art does is that it tries to do the magic of combining them together. So the art actually stands for active room treatment. And that is why this art is supposedly one of the latest and a better tool that they have tried to incorporate. In this, the primary advantage is that they do not correct individual speaker. They correct all the speakers and the subwoofers together. What will happen once you do that? Well, first of all, you will not know where the subwoofer is placed. Because now you have got a better control on the bass as well as on the speakers. So the sound really comes together. Room decays, the subwoofer resonances, everything gets avoided once you do the Dirac Live art. Now, this is something that I am telling you based out of our experience because we have done it on a Maran Cinema 40 in our office. And after that, we even performed the same calibration setup even at our client's place for his bedroom. Now the bedroom is 26 feet by 16 to 18 feet and it uses all angular in ceiling speakers except for the surround back which is placed on the shelf behind. Now imagine for a 26 feet room which has a 7.2.4 calibration or configuration done, the Dirac played a very crucial role. So we tried to do the first Odyssey setup on the Marans, then played with the direct live room correction, base control followed by the Dirac art. Now with Dirac Art, the experience was next level, but even without Dirac Art, the live room correction and the bass control could significantly improvise the sound compared to the traditional Odyssey sound. Now, some of the notices that we could find out based upon the calibrations that we performed, the bass reduces in the Dirac Live Art, but it is not just a reduction. It is basically controlling the decay of the subwoofer. So most people feel that the Dirac Art is actually reducing the bass compared to a normal live room correction and a bass control, but it is not what it does. It is really helping you get a more tighter and accurate performance of subwoofer. In India and in US, we have seen many people love to have more and more bass. So in such cases, it is always better to have another profile of Dirac loaded onto your AV receiver, which has got only the live room correction and bass control. So that you can shuffle between these profiles based upon the content that you're watching, based upon the time of the day that you're watching and based upon the setup that you have at your place. Now let's have a quick comparison table between the Dirac Live and the Dirac Live Art. Now when you start with Dirac Live, for the basic speakers, you have got a better control with Dirac Live because it can operate the speakers individually. But when the sound comes in a home theater, it comes together from all the channels. And that is where the Dirac Live Art has an upper hand. When it comes to the bass integration, the Dirac Live cannot help you adjust the low frequencies or the bass in your system you need to buy the bass control as an additional software or a tool from Dirac to help you control the bass and integrate it with the main system. With the live art technology, you don't have to worry about it because now the bass and the speaker sound together. So that is the advantage of the Dirac live art. Now, lastly, let us understand who really needs Dirac art. Well, first of all, if you're installing home theaters in open spaces like living rooms, you definitely need to explore the Dirac live art. If you do not want the subwoofer rattling your crocker unit, then again, Dirac Art is the solution for it. Secondly, it is for people who have got multiple subs. So if you are having multiple subs in your dedicated cinema rooms or even in your media rooms and you want to have the sound output perfectly matched for the system, for the equipments amongst each other, then you should start looking for it. Lastly, if you have got done with the Dirac Live room corrections in the past, but now want to take the next step of integrating the Dirac Live Art, you should again consider this. Now, one important rule, as of now, the Dirac Live Art is available on Marans and Denon AV receivers along with some Storm Audio processors. So in case you have got any AV receiver beyond this, you will have to still wait 
till the time Dirac releases the live art for all the other models. And if you want to buy these licenses, the prices are here. You can check them out. You can buy them directly online or you can reach out to my team for any special discount if there is any. And lastly, this is not a very, very easy calibration tool. So do not try to play around with the tool by your own hands. You will need an advanced calibration engineer who knows how to handle Dirac, who has got the right set of equipments and can come to your place, help you set it up properly. So if you need any assistance in that, feel free to reach out to our calibration engineers. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope the Dirac Live and the Dirac Live R technologies are now more clearer to you. And if you have got any more suggestions on what kind of topics you want to cover through our channel, please feel free to put them down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I am Mehta, your home cinema consultant or home theater. We will see you again in the next video. Bye bye.